How's it going guys? Welcome to another review. We have another Icon Moments card, Roberto Baggio, the Italian attacker, uh, who I'd consider one of the greats. I mean, he was one of the best in his time. I mean, this guy was phenomenal during his career. Uh, it's quite sad because when you think of Baggio, uh, it kind of reminds you of the you know 1994 World Cup against Brazil in the penalty shootout when he had that, uh, you know, the one where he skied and then like murdered someone in the stands. Uh, and then, you know, add that with you know a few career injuries uh it kind of taints his career i'd say a little bit which is you know quite sad but you got to remember how good this guy was uh and then you look at his cards in fifa it's quite disappointing because i feel like his cards just don't do him justice i feel like he should be you know much better than he actually is but uh yeah you can see we used him in this 41212 narrow in that cam position you could use him as either a cam or a striker uh, his card you know is really weird uh you look at the passing and dribbling uh, suggests that he'd be a better cam and then you look at the shooting uh, his distance shooting looks quite uh, average you know to be fair and then you know the inside the area his finishing uh, attack positioning as well suggests that he'd be a great striker but uh, yeah you could use him as either or if you use him in a striker as a striker I would use him in a two striker formation with either someone who's you know very quick or someone who's you know very good at holding up the ball but uh, yeah we'll get into his attributes 91 acceleration 86 sprint speed this guy's quick He's not rapid. He's not going to be bursting through defenses, destroying them with his blistering speed. But he's quick. He's able to move and, uh, you know, create the uh, problems for the opposing defenders. Uh, in terms of his shootings, like I said, this is a very unique category. Uh, 96 finishing and 95 attack positioning with 91 composure. This guy's very good inside the area and, you know, he's a great goal scorer. Um, I wouldn't say he's clinical. Uh, I feel like he was one of those players who hit the post a lot, which was really annoying. And you're going to have to learn how to shoot with this guy because uh, he only has 80 shot power, which is quite annoying. I feel like that lack of shot power kind of allows the goalkeeper another, ch you know, a bit of a bit more of a chance to, you know, make the save. And then 86 long shots, which is which is all right. Uh, as I say that, you know, he hits that. But, you know, I'd say shooting. You, you kind of have to learn how to shoot with them. You know, it's it's a unique style. Uh, you're probably going to be spending, you know, most of the shots you're going to be shooting with them are probably going to be finesse shots because he does have the finesse shot trait and 95 curve. So most of the shots will be placements. Um, in terms of his passing, this guy's a great creator, a great playmaker, and uh, will get you guys a lot of assists. You can see uh, he opens up his body here and then plays a nice through ball with his weak foot to Rashford, who's able to finish it off into the bottom corner. So uh, he's able to move the ball, you know, distribute the ball across the, uh, you know, the field very well. He's got 95 vision, 95 short passing, and 91 long passing. Uh, in terms of his on the ball ability, 82 agility, which I'd say is you know a little low for someone who's five foot nine. But uh, if you guys have used someone like the team of the season, Cazorla, he still turns very quickly, feels very good on the ball, and uh, that's just down to his height and his player build. It's very favorable in this game. Uh, and then he's got the 97 ball control and 97 dribbling. Combine that with the five star skills. Uh, if you enjoy skilling or you know dribbling on this game, you'll have so much fun with this guy. This guy is able to you know get past the defenders with ease with his tight touches and close control. And then uh, the the main con here, the physicality stats. I'll be honest, his physicals, you know, they suck. Uh, he's got 66 jumping, which really doesn't matter. Uh, 79 stamina, which is low, so he will you know be tired with. You, you know probably around the 70th minute mark so you're probably gonna have to you know sub him out and if you play foot champs and you go into overtime yeah he's he's just not gonna make it uh, and then he's got 68 strength and 41 aggression so you know the big defenders will uh you know take the ball off of him fairly easily so you just got to keep that in mind uh you can see here the two cons there and then the pros uh overall i mean it's a unique card uh i didn't really get along with it i i think he's a good player i just you know, he has to fit your play style. You know, if you really want Baggio, if you're an Italian fan, if you, you know, are a fan of him, definitely get him. You know, it's at this stage of the game where you just need to enjoy players. But I feel like there are definitely better options. And if you're trying to win still, I probably wouldn't go for him. But yeah, that's going to be my, my Baggio review. Please like the video. Of course, subscribe, comment down below who you want to see next. And thank you for watching.